The owner of a longtime Irvington business is asking for your help finding a stolen trailer. It had thousands of dollars in equipment, and some of that was custom made and irreplaceable. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli has more. It probably would mean nothing to them, but to me, it means the world. It means everything. On Saturday morning, Kenny Montgomery took a call from his neighbor. He was told someone stole a trailer from the back parking lot of his business. To come onto someone else's property and uh, take a piece of their livelihood for themselves uh, is very disheartening. In this surveillance video here, you can see the trailer in tow on the back of an older model pickup truck. It's a rather unique looking trailer. I've not seen another one like it. And while Kenny says the trailer itself is somewhat replaceable, the tents and hardware on it are not. Although a police report shows the value of everything is over $50,000, that's not the only thing he's talking about. We've manufactured our own tents for all these years, and so uh, it, it really is personal. Kenny says to make just one takes weeks at a time, but it's a labor of love. Their company has been passed down through generations since 1923. This impacts not just me and my family, but all of our employees and obviously our customers. Kenny says his focus is not only on recovering the items lost, but how he can continue to serve his customers. It's the first thing that came to his mind, even after a massive blow to his business. Every day is a new day. Somewhere else, somebody needs a tent. We know that the success of so many of our events would not, they just wouldn't be successful without Kenny and his team. Lisa Watson, president of the Benton House Association, says Kenny donates his time and tents every year for their fundraiser. She says he's crucial to their nonprofit and has made a huge impact on the lives of so many who he's helped over the years with events. It's something that's going to be difficult to recover from, but we can. Reporting in Irvington, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. That trailer and everything on it were ready to go to the Putnam County Fair on Tuesday. Kenny says he's still working, hoping to make that possible.